हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर न्यू वीडियो ऑन टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल एंड देयर क्लासिफिकेशन इन आर लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस दैट वंस रिस्क इज आइडेंटिफाइड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पुट सम कंट्रोल्स और काउंटर मेजर्स टू ब्रिंग रिस्क फ्रॉम अनएक्सेप्टेबल और हाई लेवल टू अन एक्सेप्टेबल लेवल ब्रॉडली देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल प्रिवेंटिव कंट्रोल डिटेक्टिव एंड करेक्टिव टूडे वी विल डिस्कस वॉट दीज कंट्रोल्स आर देर इंपॉर्टेंस एंड हाउ दे कैन बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड to protect against various security threats firstly let's define what preventive detective and corrective controls are preventive controls are measures taken to prevent security incidents from occurring in the first place they are proactive in nature and are implemented to reduce the likelihood of a security breach preventing control means detecting problem before they arise example of preventive controls include access control which can be logical or physical access control which prevents unauthorized access by restricting access to only authorized individuals so logical access control like restricting access for application based on some role or rules like uh, vendor uh, payments applications uh, which organizations are using or sap applications or it can be physical access control like access to uh, critical areas like server room or battery room second is firewall it is designed to protect unauthorized access to a network or system by filtering network traffic based on predefined rules a firewall can prevent unauthorized access attempts from reaching the network and reduce the risk of a successful attack so firewall is also a preventive control antivirus software so antivirus can be preventive control it is a detective control and corrective control at the same time depending on the function you are performing or the antivirus is performing antivirus keep the computer safe to first place by preventing malware from running damaging or uh, writing files it is acting as a preventing control here it scans monitor file in computer continuously for viruses so here it is a detective control antivirus removes malicious files from system once detected so here antivirus is a corrective control right security awareness training is also example of preventive controls training given to employees to raise their awareness and understanding of potential security threats and risks as well as best practices for protecting against them will help prevent incidents from occurring segregation of duties is another preventive control which ensures that no single individual has complete control over a process an organization can reduce the risk of fraud or security events caused by one individual actions example can be like there cannot be a single person who is doing the vendor payments and who is also requesting the payment or approving the payment so there have there has to be different individuals doing these different transactions one classical example of consequences generated by lack of segregation is the barings bank collapse you might have heard of barings bank this is classical example of fraud committed by people who had access to to many functions and did not need separate authorization the character is nick leeson who was manager of bearing banks trading on the singapore international monetary exchange and at the same time the head of settlement operations meaning that he was in charge with the accurate accounting also so he was performing an activity and also he was in charge with checking how the activity is being performed those positions of course would normally be held by two different person the consequences as we all know 1.3 billion dollars in losses and collapse of the bearings bank so all organizations should implement segregation of duties no individual employee should be in charge of creating a transaction recording it approving in and processing the payment there should be different individuals right so these are some of the preventive controls now let's move to detective 